In this video, we are going to explain what the highest common factor is, and we're going to complete an example where we're going to calculate the highest common factor. Now, first of all, I want you to know that the highest common factor is actually known by two different names. We have the highest common factor, or for short, HCF. The other name it is commonly known by is the greatest common divisor, or for short, GCD. Now, the best way to explain what the highest common factor is, is to just go in and complete an example. So, for question A, we have the two numbers 30 and 45, and we want to find the highest common factor. So what we'll do is we'll start by finding the factors. What are the factors of 30 and what are the factors of 45? I know that 1 times 30 gives me 30. I also know that 2 times 15 gives me 30. 3 times 10 gives me 30. And also 5 times 6 gives me 30. This lists all the factors of 30 for me. What makes 45? Well, I know 1 times 45 makes 45. I know that 3 times 15 makes 45. And I also know that 5 times 9 makes 45. So we've listed all the factors of 30, and we've listed all the factors of 45. The next thing we're going to do is look at this word common. What are our common factors? They both have a common factor of 1. They both have a common factor of 3. They both have a common factor of 5. And they also have a common factor of 15. Now, if you just use a bit of common sense here, it is asking you to find the highest common factor. And the highest common factor we can see is the number 15. It is the highest number that we have circled. So down below, we're just going to write the shorthand, the HCF, meaning the highest common factor, is 15. Now let's move on to question B. Same thing again, what are the factors of 5 and what are the factors of 14? Now 5 is a prime number, so the factors are only 1 and 5, and the factors of 14 are 1 and 14, and 2 times 7 makes 14 as well. So, what factors do we have in common here? There's only one factor they have in common, and that's the 1. Sometimes, the highest common factor is only going to be 1. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 1. Remember to read the description below for links to worksheets that relate to this video.